Composting doesn't always play by the rules we set for it. We'll review two of these rules. The first is that a successful compost process requires a moisture content of 40 to 60 percent and an air-filled porosity of 30 to 50 percent. The second is that composting is a net drying process. Here's a case study that I've used in teaching. A large dairy farm needed to compost their packed manure so they could sell it to a soil bagging facility. The annual rainfall on this farm is greater than 2.5 meters or 8 feet. They started with turned windrows that were about 6 feet high and 14 feet wide. They used a breathable cover over the windrows which had to be pulled off each time they turned it. Good temperatures, lots of steam, but no oxygen. This was going to take many weeks of turning and putting the cover on and off. The moisture content was greater than 70% and the porosity was less than 30%. The obvious solution from eager composting students was to suggest adding dry material like wood chips. This would optimize the moisture content and create more porosity. The challenge for the farm is that they had limited space and we're not interested in bringing in more product or screening out wood chips. And where does one find dry material in a rainforest climate? The solution was to roll two windrows into one larger one, put a four inch air pipe underneath with an aeration blower and cover with a breathable fabric. Oxygen went to above 10% and the temperatures were great. The windrow was turned every two weeks simply by pulling the cover off, pulling the pipe out, rolling the material back over the pipe and putting the cover back on. They were now producing great compost. The air requirement for composting this type of manure isn't high. Cattle manure bedding pack doesn't have much energy. Much of the product is wood from the sawdust bedding that's added. The manure has already gone through a digestion process in the cow's stomach. Now for composting being a net drying process, not always, perhaps. The volume of leachate accumulating in the pipe during the first two weeks of composting was incredible. It was not a surprise for us as we had seen this already in 1998 with a similar manure. Three things to think about here. First, the bedding manure pack was saturated with moisture. Second, the decomposition also produces water. And third, there's not much energy in the manure and it doesn't need much air so the drying potential during composting was substantially lower. We also see this with some yard waste, especially those that don't include lawn clippings. Material with less energy doesn't dry as quickly compared with compost containing more energy like food waste. As one can imagine, designing an aeration system that works well needs to consider the possibility of leachate production. When we teach the rules of thumb for composting, there's sometimes more to understand. The optimal solution requires an understanding of the microbes and how to keep them happy. It also requires an understanding of the context in which the composting occurs. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.